During this session you will learn about the different parts of the lathe. Do not forget, you can ask me to repeat what I said at any time by saying help or repeat. To use the work area effectively, you should use one hand or controller to interact with the tools and work pieces. Then use the other hand or controller to teleport and navigate within the work area. This is the chuck guard. It protects the machine operator from coming into contact with the dangerous rotating parts of the lathe. It also prevents parts from being ejected during lathe use. It is an essential safety feature. The motor will not rotate if the chuck guard is open. Open the chuck guard. If the chuck guard is opened while the lathe is in use the motor is turned off automatically. This will stop the spindle turning. Well done. This is the chuck and spindle. The chuck is used to clamp the workpiece securely into place. Turn the spindle and chuck with your hand for one complete rotation. Do not stop until the chuck keyhole is visible in front of you. Good job. Close the chuck guard. Good job. This is the spindle speed selector. It is used to set the speed of the motor which drives the spindle. It is important to set this correctly for each job and material type. This is the start button. This button starts the motor for the lathe and supplies the power for the machine to work. If you switch the lathe on and the motor does not rotate, please check that the spindle speed selector is not set to zero. This is the kill switch, or emergency stop button. The emergency stop button turns off the power to the machine. This is the lathe apron. It is attached to the front of the carriage. It contains the mechanisms and controls for moving the carriage and cross slide. This is the apron hand wheel. It is used to move the apron. Now move the lathe apron by turning the apron hand wheel. Well done. This is the cross slide. It is used to support the machine tool and set its position. This is the cross slide hand wheel. It is used to move the cross slide into the correct position. Move the cross slide by turning the hand wheel located on the apron. Good job. The tool dock is mounted onto the cross slide. It supports the machine tool. This is the locking lever. It is used to secure the machine tool into position. You should always check that the machine tool is securely locked before using it. If the lever is pointing to the right it is unlocked. This is the tail stock. It holds the drill bit or reaming tool securely in position. This is the tail stock locking lever. It is used to secure the tail stock in place. When the lever is up, you can move the tail stock. When the lever is down, the tail stock is fixed and locked in position. You should always check that the lever is down and the tail stock secured before starting the motor. Move the tail stock back and forth using your hand. To do this you must first make sure the tail stock locking lever is in the up position. You should always check that the lever is down and the tail stock secured before starting the motor. Well done. The drill bit dock supports and secures the drill in position. This is the drill locking lever. It is used to secure the drill in position. When the lever is positioned to the left, you can replace the drill. When the lever is positioned to the right, the drill is fixed and locked in position. You should always check that the lever is positioned to the right and the drill secured before starting the motor. This is the tail stock wheel. It is used to move the drill bit dock forwards and backwards. Move the drill bit dock by turning the hand wheel located on the tail stock. Good job. 
congratulations. You have completed this tutorial session. Please go back to the lounge area. To do this please click on the blue panel located on the barrier.